Puddle center, nine indoor courts. 12 meters highest point, 10 meters lowest point for the roof, so you can hop very easily. Looks really nice. And the founder is, of course, Slatan Ibrahimovic with a friend of his. And um, they built a few, and this one is in Stockholm, in a very big place. And it's uh, 10 o'clock, and all the courts are occupied. So, crazy good on a Monday morning. And also a padball court. This is nice to play, it's all glass. And this is with the football. So of course Slatan has it and he should be fine with his bicycle kicks. But um, this is very nice to do. I did it once in Paraguay and this is, uh, this is very nice to play. And if you don't have a lot of space or you have open space in your club, you can use this to fill up the, the, the club. And uh, I think people will enjoy it and you get different people so maybe sometimes you can get some football players to the club and they will c come to play paddle so good idea to fill up your club is uh, paddle and it will grow faster and faster and in South America it's very big and they you have to be a little bit flexible so they do bicycle kicks heading the ball uh, you can uh, pass the ball to the other person so it's like volleyball paddle uh, in one super nice Vamos. Next up, Globen Paddle. Holy shit! Holy shit! Global Paddle! Yes, it's nice. Globen paddle, 14 courts, including two single courts. And uh, try to hit the roof. Holy moly. You never touch the roof, even with a tennis ball and a tennis racket. Impossible. But there is, uh, you have a little bit lower lobs over there. And. Um, they have to remove this uh, club uh, next month because um, there were no concerts available during the COVID time. So that's why they put all the, the, the courts here. So 14, 14 courts, uh, high lobs, and it's very silent. So I think maybe that's nice uh, to play, that you don't have any sound uh, that's bothering you. So we can speak uh, s uh, slowly and not so loud as I normally do. but. Uh, yeah, great place. And if you organize a tournament, you can have some available seats uh, as well. <laughs> yes, you, you have to be a little bit more transparent, I think, with me. Ultimate paddle. Very high. Other part of Stockholm, so now we're going to find out what's inside Ultimate paddle. So we, we checked a lot of clubs and I think it's uh, it's important. There are a few things important in when you're building a club or when you're going to a club. I think it's the, the height of the roof, very important. In Sweden, I see there is the, the roof is way higher, so you can lop very easily. Um, the sound, because some clubs have a very, it's a lot of sound and some clubs are very calm. Like the Globe, you don't hear anything because the roof is very high. It's the owner. It's the owner that is important to have a good owner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. I think uh, when you come into the club and somebody says, welcome, hello, how are you? In this moment you come in, it's very, very good. 
uh, the light is also important. The light is really important, you yeah, know that as a player. Maybe at the globe, if you lob too high, yeah. then the light is here and the ball is there. Yeah. So then it becomes complicated. Yeah, true. So, and your light is uh, higher on the roof, it's not on the court. Uh, and also the color of the light, because the yellow light um, could be very helpful because it's less disturbing in your eyes. Yeah, true. Yeah. True. So, yeah, so it's the height of the roof. Where is a big difference in if you build uh, like a, a, a location or you uh, like are in a facility that you rent, um, you have to be like how much you clean, how much you clean the glass, how much do you brush the court. Here at Ultimate, they're also brushing the court. Um, it's important because people are going to notice the difference between a cleaned court, uh, clean glass and, 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 and not so clean glass. Maybe not now because they're not amazing players yet, but if they are better with the wall, they are going to find a big difference with the quality of the glass. So you have to be very aware of what do I need to do to bring people to my club that is different from other clubs. Uh, and parking spaces as well, because uh, some clubs are harder to find and some you park and you're there. So if you have a lunch break and, and, and it's very easy to park the car and you play, it's good. Some people play before they work or some people play because you open up at 6.30 in the morning yeah. and you have people playing in the morning. Yeah, we have. So they come, they park the car, 30 seconds later they are on court. They play, they got, uh, for example, a breakfast package with them and yeah. they are at to work early, maybe 8, 8.30. So that's, that's a huge difference uh, if you can serve the people in, in whatever way the, the customer wants to be served. Yeah. Yeah. Now some clubs were, were empty where some clubs are full. So there are differences that uh, we don't know yet, but you have to find out what you need to do to fill up the courts the entire time so maybe you have to be better in organizing stuff maybe people in the afternoon or in them at 10 o'clock in the morning they don't know people that play so they're not playing but because they think oh i'm the only one who's free on monday morning but maybe um you as a club owner should find and organize something at 10 o'clock and see what happens yeah. uh, because maybe other people want to play as well yeah so that's important you know if you if you know your customers, you know they want to play, and you know the level, you can arrange a breakfast paddle or lunch paddle. Yeah, because now you also have a difference in, in become a member or just pay and play. And why do you have members in your club? We have members because, of course, we want to tie people up to the club. Yeah. Give them a special uh, club feeling. So membership is not so expensive, but that makes them play a little bit cheaper during daytime. That makes them get the coach cheaper, they make them come to a coach, uh, 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 course a little bit cheaper and, and in Sweden right now most important is that you can book a court ahead. As a member you can book one week earlier. Okay. And that's a big difference because it's full during evening and uh, weekends. Yeah. Two weeks ahead every, everybody can book but our members can book three weeks ahead. So that's a big difference to be a member also. Yeah. yeah, so you have a lot of the same people, like... Yeah. 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 I think the power of your club is that uh, um, the, the cafeteria is, is, is cozy, it feels like you're in somebody's house. Yeah, you're connecting people. Yeah. They're all together, you know. Yeah. They, they have breakfast, they have lunch, they talk, they have a drink, they can sit outside. Yeah. And, and, and inside they play, in the, in the cafeteria and in the lounge. They, they, they enjoy, they yeah. speak and they have a coffee. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, I think so. That's the power. So I think the most important thing about today, uh, knowing your customers and knowing what people need. So do you need space outside the court to run? Are you going to organize tournaments with will paddle two players that they can run out of the side of the court? Uh, membership, yes or no? You have to think about a lot of things before you're going to plan something big. Are you going to build a structure or are you going to rent a place? Um, and how much do you clean the glass? How much are you going to invest? Also the quality of the courts. Yeah. Because you can have a shit court and have a low price, or you can invest in a, uh, in a better court and ask for more, because people will know and feel the difference between yeah. a, a good court yeah. and a sweet uh, court. Yeah. Um, so I think it's, it's, it's okay. If you have like a, a good court, good glass that bounces, I would pay more to play there. Yeah. And the thing here right now is really that there's no price difference. 
So a shitty court and a good court is about the same price. About the same price? Yeah. But soon, very soon, people are gonna understand this game better. Yeah. And then they're gonna choose. Yeah. You want to have you, you want to be able to lob, you want to be able to get the bounce out of the wall, yeah. and you want to clean bathroom. Yeah. yeah that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I that's that's true, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like in Sweden it's so far ahead of everybody else. It's uh, it's crazy. Yeah. 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 So uh, Holland uh, have to step up their game, and the rest of Europe can come later. Uh, but uh, we have to do something. Yeah. Yeah. That's a vamos. Vamos. <laughs> yeah. Vamos. <laughs> okay. Well, that's everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Michael, for this Thank fantastic you. week. Thank it you. has been amazing. Thank you, sir. Yeah. It's been. Uh, the best week so far this year yeah yeah it's okay been great. yeah for us as well it's uh first time we're doing something else than sitting uh, playing uh, call of duty uh, every night yeah uh because we have nothing else to do no. and this is amazing and i uh what i've really enjoyed is that people when i teach something and say okay this is the the, the preparation of the forehand everybody's like yeah. copying me and it's like, okay, people really want to learn. And yeah. uh, for me as a, as a coach, that gives me a nice feeling. So that's what I enjoyed. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We will be back very soon. Thank you everybody for watching. If you would like to see more videos like this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And give a like to Jarvala Palo Club on Facebook. Would be nice if you can play here. And maybe drop a, a comment if you would like to play at Jarvala Palo Club. And we organize something for in the future, maybe after the summer. Let me know. Taxi make it. Hey, doll.